So if you're new here, you may not know that I'm a big hater of clutter. I understand it's inevitability, but I'm on a 24-7G HOD against clutter. Many of the 3D print projects I've embarked upon have aimed to either eliminate or at least obscure the clutter. I'd like things around me to be as minimalist as they possibly can. I've heard it's a millennial thing to make your house uninviting so guests will leave immediately. Anybody else? So in today's build, I aim to eliminate or at least obscure from view an essential component of any person's desk, that being a desk fan. So using 3D 3D printing and my brain cells, I'm gonna to try to make a more minimalist or at least somewhat hidden approach to desk fan to accomplish the same goal as this thing of blowing air constantly in my face so I feel like I'm moving forward in life, but without all the clutter. So I'll do this by over-engineering and over-complicating something that's so seemingly insignificant, it's gonna beg the question from you, dear viewer, why is he doing this? <laughs> So I, like many, spend a good amount of time at my desk. Also, like many people, I like to have a desk fan running 24 seven. It also has the benefit of keeping flies away from the garbage can that I haven't emptied in three weeks. It doesn't need to go out yet. However, I've never encountered a desk fan that I really like. They're big, clunky, they take up a lot of real estate with these AC powered fans. And USB fans really don't pack the punch. They're really underpowered and you have to also chase the cables. Also too, I'm doing videos and stuff and some of these fans can be quite loud, especially when you crank them. Up. So after my recent office renovation, I moved my monitors and did extensive cable management and it left me with this, a gaping 2.75 inch hole. When I went to replace my desk fan with something in black, which is kind of like, you know, the theme here, I saw the prices for some of these desk fans and I thought, let's try to do something a little bit better. So I thought maybe there's a better way of mounting the fan underneath the desk and just piping the air up through the hole right into my face. So for fans, I ultimately decided on this, a four inch inline fan. I have this 120 millimeter axial fan, but it seems unable to build enough pressure behind it to really force the air through. And these USB powered 80 millimeter fans are really low volume. They're better suited for something like cooling my server closet. If you're keen on attempting this along with me, links in the description below to all the off shelf products that I purchased for this and all the 3D print files that I created for it as well. If you wanna buy this fan, it's $26 on Amazon. And I'm absolutely certain that there are cheaper alternatives out there if you bother to look around for longer than I did. So I know how big my hole is and I know how big my fan is. Now I need to adapt it to fit into the hole. So for that, I'm gonna head into Fusion, which I'm still an idiot at. However, using some simple guides that I found on YouTube, I was able to join these two circles together using the loft feature and then shell the design to make a very simple adapter. And that left me with this, which leaves quite a lot to be desired because as you can see, the loft feature is just making a body between the two circles. And so it seems kind of restrictive for the airflow. What I want to do is maybe make something that's a little more curved, but I don't really know how to do that in Fusion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back into Fusion and add a third plane here in the middle and loft between these three bodies. So I'll just do exactly what I did the first time around, but adding a third circle here in the middle. It's half the size of the big and the small. It's right in the middle to kind of taper it down. And then I'll shell a loft between these three bodies and then I'll shell the whole thing again. I wasn't really sure why the bottom face wasn't shelling, but all I did was add a circle in the middle at the right size and extrude up through it. Now look at me, Captain Fusion. Captain Fusion! Into bamboo to slice the model. Now supports are gonna be unavoidable here, but through the use of ancient sacred Anunnaki geometry, I actually opted to print this here on its spine and just sort of manually remove the supports that are on the inside. So I'm gonna send this to print and just kind of yeet it and hope it works out. Now on to make the bracket to hold this here fan underneath the desk. So all I need here is a skinny yet curvy figure with uh, several holes to screw into, kind of like my Colombian wife. So I've got the bracket, I've got the adapter, I've got the fan, Let's make our depth zero and start working on the flange and the nozzle here on the top of the desk. So for this, I'm gonna build a very simple flange that I'm gonna fuse into a ball and socket base that I've used on a previous project. So I'll print this fused model together and a few more of these segments so I can directionalize the airflow. So let's build it all up.
so we're all installed. Probably need to go back through and do a little bit better of a job on cable management, but let's turn this on and give it a test. Now, if I was gonna make this into a product, I'd probably want to address the speed controller because I imagine most people don't want to reach under their desk to adjust the speed or turn the fan on or off. But for my purposes, I'm just gonna run it at the same speed all the time, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Now, audio levels are relative and it's kind of hard to communicate loudness through a video, but this is the best form of demonstration that I can think to offer. The fan's currently at 50%. As you can see, that's a generous amount of air. Let's crank it up. Now the fan's significantly louder, but it puts out a significantly higher volume of air. So that's my over-engineered and over-complicated solution to a problem that really didn't exist earlier. And I'd genuinely love to know what you think about it in the comments below. Do you think that people are neurotic enough to maybe want this as a product or a kit to install themselves? Or do you see anywhere that could be improved upon in this design to make it a little more efficient, work a little bit better, or be more minimal? List. If you'd like to download the files for this model, I've got them via the links in the description below for free. I mean, what am I going to charge money for a circle? Uh, you can download that and print them if you like. Try this out. If you'd like to buy any of the fans or the double-sided tape or the screws or anything that I used in this build, I've got Amazon links in the description below as well. If you like this idea or the content, the approach, or just the banter, be sure to give me a like and a subscription so I can help bilk more free stuff from sponsors. Thanks again for watching. I'm The Technicals. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.